Welcome back, my friends, to Day Z. Uh, today, we're playing solo on the loaded servers, and we have one goal, and that's to restore the abandoned ruins in the woods outside Starry back into its former glory. Now, it's a custom building on the server, but it did seem like a very cool spot because it'll be right next to VMC, Starry, and not too far from Northwest, so we can get some action that way. Anyway, first things first, of course, we gotta get off the coast. So, I'm gonna grab some water at the well, and we'll work our way up while finding building supplies on the way. Okay, well, we're at Starry, about to leave. Um, I think I have almost everything. All I need uh, is a code lock, and I should be able to put a base down. So what I'm going to do is uh, hit the Tricrista and hit this key that I found. And then we can go look for a gold lock and set our base up. Okay, here we are. This is the spot. Uh... Yeah, it's one of the old Livonia buildings. But I think, with enough nails, and enough time, I can definitely restore this thing. And there's some really cool things you can do, because there's so many imperfections with the base. Uh, there's a lot of nice peaks, if you do get raided. Uh, so, let me quickly hide this backpack somewhere, and then we can go look for a code lock, and come back. Okay, no one's fighting those. Oh my god, two hours later, we got a code lock. Alright, let's get to work. Perfect. Okay, so we have a room blocked off. Uh, once I get more nails, then we can uh, really get to work on this uh, on this upper floor and block off all of the all of the holes in the walls. But aside from that, uh, I think it's time for me to go roam and hit some keys and hopefully fight some people. Um, I haven't been hearing many shots. I've been running around all day and I haven't run into anyone. So I'm hoping now is the time. That is crazy, by the way. In the middle of the woods. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we go again. Alright. Unlucky start, but I think that's my luck. <laughs> Fixed, right? Everything else from now on is going to be smooth sailing. I can feel it. So, luckily, I managed to have an AK and a sniper spear and base. So... I'm hoping I can snowball off this, or at least get a couple kills, bring back some kits to the base. And it's like we never lost anything. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. I haven't heard shots in so long. This is, this is exciting. Well, it's definitely from here, and I think I know exactly where the shots came from. That is a big base. Shots near LARP. Oh. Okay, I saw him. Uh oh, he's geared. Oh. Okay, more than one. Three. Yeah, uh... I'm going to need this to be a perfect fight for me to win this. Especially with what I have. But it sounds like they're going straight for the Lopatino shots. Uh, I think I'm just going to follow them. And we'll see if we can catch them out in the field or something. <coughs> but the problem is, 308 doesn't actually do as much damage on this server. So, we might have an issue there. 
Right, they're definitely going for the airdrop. This makes sense. I'm kind of confused though, because I lost them. And I never saw them cross this field, so I'm thinking like, are they behind me right now? Am I, am I behind them? Ideally, I want to be behind them, because uh, yeah, then they'll catch me out. I'm going to wait on this hill, and we'll see. Oh, okay. I think that's him. All black. I'm mean, gonna see one dude. Okay, I'm gonna move in. What I really want to do is is catch one of them out. It seems like they've split up, which is perfect for me because if they all turn around and start firing at me at the same time, chances are I'm dead. Uh, but the only way I think I win this fight is if I either uncon or headshot or like fully kill the the first guy. And then somehow just make a play from there. Because like I said, 308's not great on the server. Like you need to hit them like three or four times for them to go down. Especially if they have good armor. There's a guy on the top there. Okay, this is definitely them. Let's see if I can uh, get close and make a move. I mean, the good thing is, it sounds like they're fighting. So I just have to piggyback and fight the winner. He just went off the top. That's a shame. I think I could have killed him there. <coughs> okay. <coughs> it's begun. It's dropped in a pretty good spot, I would say. Because I can actually play from distance. Oh my god. <coughs> Alright. Let's clear this. I think we're okay. Yeah, they have an orb, so one one hit and I'm dead. And I gotta hit him like dead in the head, or I don't know, two three times for them to go uncon. If I hit him in the chest, okay. One's playing from the bush. Uh. I kind of panicked. Hey, he was looking at me, I think. Okay, perfect. They're fighting someone else. This is really good for me. Oh my god. That thing is loud. I was gonna say, it was really bad. I missed my shot. But the fact that they're fighting is good for me. I just gotta get close and find a good shot. They're very active, like they're they're moving around a lot, so I gotta wait for them to aim or something. Yeah, I don't like being out in the open. I think this house is perfect though. one. I know there's one without a backpack. He's got the orm. Another one. He's got the big raid, I think. Yeah. He's got an orm, too. Oh, my God. I think one of them died. He's looting a body right there. Okay, perfect. I just gotta finish him. Nice. See what I mean though? That was a dead headshot and he went on con. So. This is why 308 is not really viable if you're versing like geared people. But that's fine. Let me reposition. There's still a guy in the town because he was aiming at someone before I killed him. So I gotta be a little bit, a little bit cautious. I don't know how I'm gonna play this. Uh, I'm going to look for this third guy that's on the hill. And then... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what to do from there. Okay, he's still up there. I'm going to run a... I'm going to run around. And do a full loop. See if I can, like, come up behind him. Because he's looking into the town, right? 
So if I can just get close, use the AR instead of trying to snipe him. <coughs> this is a great flank. Well, it's a good thing his attention's still taken from, the, from this other guy. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's no way I kill him with this, uh, this Remington. I think we just go for it. This guy's sniping from somewhere, but I have no idea where. <coughs> He's indoors. Let me just heal up. Okay, uh, I don't know how I'm going to carry all this loot, because this is the least scared guy out of the four, I think. Regardless, we will make do if we don't get third partied. Let me just dump this backpack somewhere, and then we'll go for the other three. <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. It really is a beautiful day. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. There's so much loot. <laughs> Alright, that's all I can carry. I think I got everything of value. Maybe some bits and bobs left behind, but honestly, we're up so big, I don't think it really matters. Now, we just need to get this back to base safely, and we will be in the clear. Okay, we did it. It was kind of a trick to actually get back, because I had to go around Vibor, uh, through Pistoshka, and kind of just cross that field just south of uh, VMC. But, we have survived, and oh man. We're good. We've got a couple code locks too, which is perfect, so we can upgrade the base. Uh, there's a Northwest keycard, which I think is Boom. Uh, two Orms, an M4, M14. Oh man. I mean, what can I say? It really is a good day. Okay, so I've just finished organizing the base. And before I go hit this northwest key card, what I want to do is complete the upper floor of this base. So it's going to be a bit of a project because there are a lot of floors to, uh, to fix up. But I'm just going to put my head down, get to it, and I think it's going to look pretty good. Okay, top floor is secure. Next up on the project list, we need to do the bottom floor, but uh, for now, we're quite secure. We have, uh, we have three doors, and I think this will be plenty for the time being. But yeah, all, all done. All right, now I think it's the perfect time for us to go hit the blue key card. So I believe this is it. It did say a bunker on the west side, and from my knowledge, this is the only one. It seems like people have been here. 
not long ago, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious. I don't know if this makes an alarm or not. I've never done a keycard on this server. Okay. <laughs> it definitely makes an alarm. Uh, Alright. Ooh. Okay. Very good. Alright, let's get out of here. I think that's all. Alright, well, I think that's two homemades. What the fuck? Oh, wow. You know, I think I was, like, very, very close to winning that. So, second guy died. I'm, like, 99% sure the last guy died. It was the first guy with the SKS that survived. And unless there was more than three, uh, that was definitely doable. You would have had to call me John Wick if I survived that, though. That was some crazy plot armor if that happened. Damn. That was a good fight, but uh, we did lose two homemates just then. That is a shame. Okay, we are back at Tricresta, uh, because I have a key for here, and last time I hit it, I got some pretty good loot. Wait, oh my god, I forgot to bring it with me. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's big. <laughs> Alright, we can hit that. That's very close to uh, where I am. But I'm going to have to get another backpack. Because I'm pretty sure the amount of loot in this keycard room is a lot more than I can actually carry. Here we are. The hidden cave in the west. Oh, there's the entrance. Alright, I'm hoping for like uh, an orm. Maybe some boom. Ideally. What's up this thing? Where's the goodies? Oh, here we go. Okay, very good. And you know, I'm really glad I brought another backpack because holy shit, my inventory is full. Uh, good find, very nice for the base. And maybe I might be able to raid some bases. How did I not hear the shots of this? I've been in Northwest for a while. Oh, he's dead. No way he goes up there so confidently by himself, though. He's in a group, I would say. I think what the what they're gonna do is just watch the bodies on the roof because I mean it's so easy to. Uh, so I'm gonna try bait out a shot. Oh, I see him. I 
I just need to get an angle on that fire station. I think we have a free kill if he's still there. Oh. He is still there. Oh my god. You can't shoot through that? Alright, well that guy's never going to show himself again. I'm going to wait here. Um, hopefully something kicks off. And if not, we'll... Uh, I guess we'll act like this fight never happened. Because there's no way I'm going up on that roof. What is going on there? There's a key in that room, so I think either they're going to camp the ATC or they're actually going for the key room. I guess we can figure that out if they leave or not in the next, like, minute. Oh, they're going down. Okay, they'll do in the key room. Nice. Alright, I'm sure they're gonna want to fight this. Alright, that's one. We got third partied. Okay, we're back in hopes to salvage something at least. Oh, there might be hope. The Orm was definitely shooting uh, east side. The ATC maybe. Oh. What's he doing? Where is he going? No, for real though, where did he go? Barracks? I think I might have lost him. Well, someone just died. I don't think so. Oh my god. These guys had so much gear. Okay, I think they just had all of the gear from the previous fights. Alright, I'm going back for the rest of it. Alright, nice. Let's get this home. Safely. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I think I got really lucky there, just timing-wise. But, hey, I'll take it. Oh! What? Oh, this poor guy. I actually feel really bad. I, I think I would have killed him anyway. But, uh... Yeah, he was looking at the plane going by. He was admiring the, uh... 
the view. That was just bad timing, honestly. Like, if he was five seconds earlier to reach this spot, he probably would have left my field of view. Alright, so I've depoted all the loot, and now I'm making the long trek to Zlinogorsk to hit this keycard that I got off the bodies at Northwest. Um, on the way though, I wanted to check out the bases near me because I have not seen a single active base in my area since I started playing. And there's ones like this, right? But this one's made out of vanilla walls, so I really don't want to raid it because the chances are he doesn't have much. What the f... What just happened? <sighs> as I stared at the UR dead screen, I realized perhaps my journey on the server wouldn't go as smoothly as I thought it would. But regardless, I was ready to do what it took to make a video happen. So, the first thing I did was complete the base in order for me to have any chance of defending in case of a raid. Okay, I just spent the last two hours really putting my head down and getting to work, and she is restored. Um, it's nothing crazy, but I think with all of the imperfections, it actually works out perfectly to defend in case of an online raid. So, we have our bottom floor, and here we have a couple peaks that I can use to hopefully eliminate one or two, ideally. Um, and I have a nice root peak once I start planting. So hopefully they're not looking up when that, uh, when that happens. But I can also use this to hopefully guarantee a kill once they boom the first door. Um, I just have to hit my shot. And same with this one here too. But once they reach the staircase, or at least this last door on the stairs, it's kind of fair game. Um, I have one final peak. And then we kind of just have to battle it out. Here's what this looks like from the top, though. But yeah, that's about it. Um, what we really need to do now is make an enemy of a group. But what's weird is I haven't really seen many roaming this area. Uh, that three man in Rogova was about it. But I find it odd because this area is so popular for people to, to base around and pass through. Anyway, I have a bit of boom to use, so what I'm going to do is begin raiding some bases near me and maybe attract some attention from other groups. And as I ran out of boom and bases near me to raid, I was at my wit's end, and it really felt like my journey was over. But I was stubborn, and so I tried to keep it going as long as I could. And so, as my last resort, I thought maybe at the very least, I could get some good fights in. And oh man, was I wrong. You see, at the beginning, it was all just fun and games. I had a lot of gear and base, so I just wanted to roam and have some fun with it. But as the death stacked up, I started to realize I was losing all of my gear. 
So, I really tried to snowball. Eventually though, it became death after death after death. And trust me, I really, really did try. I ran up from the coast every time, I geared up every time, but to no luck was I able to get anything good. Okay, now usually I wouldn't make a video of all this. But I thought, why not? Let's try something different and show that sometimes it really isn't smooth sailing and that it's okay to get absolutely steamrolled every so often. And that, my friends, on the coast is where my journey ended. But of course, when one door closes, another opens.